What's up guys, I'm Shane and this is Spare Change. If you've got a passion for new movies and for new audio and video gear, then hit the subscribe button for new weekly videos. In for review, we have 2019's Hellboy on 4K Blu-ray. I'm not here to review the movie itself, I'm just going to share with you my thoughts on the video and the audio quality. Now for a few tech specs. The movie was shot in 3.4K, it's got a 4K DI, it's rated R, runtime is 120 minutes, aspect ratio is 239 by 1 so there will be black bars in this. I always hear complaints about movies not having 4K DIs and not being true 4K. Well, this has got a 4K DI and it is a crispy clean one at that. The up close personal shots are full of fine details with pores, wrinkles, red makeup, all coming through exceptionally clear. The same for all the set locations. Background elements inside the witch's home like the tapestry, wallpaper, etc. were rendered all cleanly. One area where all this extra clarity takes a hit would be the CG effects. It's pretty easy to see the visual disconnect between the softer computer generated things like blood and severed limbs against the much sharper looking backdrops. HDR usage can be an eye blinder here. Hellboy's flaming sword and some explosions will have you squinting. The color palette isn't exactly bright and bold and vivid, but there are scenes that really do have some great HDR colors. The Tijuana scene is scattered with various shades of reds, blues and oranges that look fantastic in HDR10 and even better in Dolby Vision. Now as I mentioned, it's not the most colorful movie since most of it does take place in darkness, so black levels remain free of any crushing of detail in the darkest areas. The image was contrasty with a very good sense of depth and dimension. Hey! I'm on your side! Audio is in Dolby Atmos and I thought it was really good. I was hoping for more overhead effects as I thought they were moderately utilized, but it was still decent. There's a couple of very distinct moments like when that guy gets his head knocked off by a giant, and in chapter 6, there's a bunch of screaming voices that are circling around the room. Otherwise, there's mostly ambiance like creepy sounds and so on, so at least it's got a very nice spacious soundstage. Base response was really good and could shake the room. The giant battle is probably one of the better scenes here with some excellent low frequency effects. When the giants would swing their swords or whenever they take a step, you could feel the bass in your body. Dialogue was fine and always easy to hear. So for audio, I'm gonna go with an 8.5. I would have liked more Atmos height effects, but there's still really good surround envelopment. I still think the older movies were better sounding though. Well, at least part 2 is really good. For video, I'm gonna go with a 9.5. If you're looking for a 4K crispy movie to show off your 4K crispy display, then this is a great pick. It's clean, it's detailed, it's sharp, and it's got some great HDR. The digital effects are suspect, but otherwise, it's a great looking transfer. The movie on the other hand... Now if you want to pick up this disc, I'll leave some links for it down below in the description. Leave us a comment and let us know which Hellboy you preferred, the original or this one. Be sure to follow us on social media and if you want to support the channel to help us keep these videos coming, then stop by our Patreon page. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and we'll see you guys again in the next one.